Hi everybody. It is uh, time for the Friday live crystal ball meditation. Uh, I logged on just a minute early just to give some people some time uh, to get on and uh, connect with us. Uh, particularly Stan, he is always joining us for the crystal ball meditations because he lends his healing energy to this and so I like to give him a few minutes to to get logged on and get situated as well. So I want to welcome you to the Friday crystal ball meditation. We were doing these every Monday night at Kunjani at 6 p.m. And uh, it was bringing together such a beautiful community of people. And I know you're all joining here online. Um, and be, it's going to be great we can, when we can all get together again and do this um, in a space. Kunjani is just absolutely lovely. And they have been open um, with their drive through from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. And they've hooked up with a new bakery. They've got some new great bakery things, gluten-free things. I think paleo things they even said on there. So it's great that they're up and running. And as soon as it is um, allowed and safe to do so, we will be back in Kinjani on Monday nights. Um, I don't know if it's going to be every Monday night to begin with. We'll see. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, and then also we were doing this uh, second Friday of every month at our yoga place, which is a brand new yoga studio owned by uh, my dear friends, uh, Nancy and Tom, at our at uh, Coconut Point Mall. And they had just opened when all of this hit, uh, so my heart goes out to them. Hopefully they'll be able to open soon, and we were doing the crystal balls there with a planetary star show. So it's in one of their yoga studio rooms, so it's air conditioned, and you bring your mat and your blanket and your pillow you get all comfortable, it's dark, and then the stars and the planets all are doing this little show above you. So you can either watch them or just close your eyes and listen to the crystal balls. It was really beautiful, and we'll be doing that again. We were also holding our wellness talks there. And if you're wondering who we are, who are, you know, I keep saying are and us and we, um, it's the Firefly Within Foundation. So it's a nonprofit organization that provides these events free to the community and we were working with the schools here at the Starrow High School and the Salvation Army After School Program. We just started that. Everything had just started up um, when we all got uh, locked down, but these things will gradually be on board again. So if you want to know more about what the foundation does, please check out fireflywithin.org, O-R-G. And if you'd like to make a donation, if your heart calls out for that, you can do that there as well. If you'd like to know more about me and what I do outside of the foundation, my company is Firefly Within, and I do quantum biofeedback, Reiki, sound healing. Uh, I work with essential oils. I work with their crystal bowls. Um, so it just depends on what it is that you would like and what it is that you, you need in your healing journey. So check that out at fireflywithin.com. So tonight is... May 15th, and I know that because there's two significant things going on. Uh, first of all, it is uh, the last day of high school uh, for Stero High, and I have two children graduating from high school this year, so they're excited and a little uh, anticlimactic at the same time uh, just because of everything that's going on so they will be graduating and hopefully the big fanfare will happen later in, in July uh, kind of takes the, the bang and circumstance out of it pop and circumstance whatever you want to call it but they're still very excited to be done and also tomorrow is my daughter's 18th birthday uh, so it's a very big weekend for her and we'll be celebrating that over the weekend so I hope you are all doing well. Um, we are going to start, <clears throat> I've had a little bit, if you notice the last couple of videos, <clears throat> been a little bit something clearing in my throat. I apologize for that. Um, so we are going to be doing um, a prayer for optimal health, which I think is good at any point, any time, regardless how you were feeling, because we still always want to keep our health 
as optimal as it can be. Um, and if you are not feeling well, please, please take care of yourself. Uh, make sure you're eating good foods, drinking plenty of water, um, and getting enough rest. Uh, last night I slept for 11 hours, and the night before was 12 hours. So definitely some recalibrating or healing going on here, and I'm listening to my body and giving it the time that it needs to, um, to repair itself, because the body knows how to do that the best above all else. So as we get started tonight, the, uh, the way this goes, I'll read uh, the prayer to get started. We'll do a couple of deep breaths together. I'll read the prayer to get started, and then uh, I'll have the, we'll play the crystal bowls, and then I draw a card or two from the uh, Archangel Oracle deck, and on Fridays I like to pick from the fairy deck as well, just as kind of like fun fairy Friday and they always have some kind of um, positive news to share and give, which I like to do. Uh, for those of you who have been tuning in, Amos is here tonight, uh, which is our dear ginger cat. And um, he's right over there. You can't see him. He's under the chair. Maybe he'll join us later. He usually lets us, lets us know when it's time to stop. Um, if I haven't already. And so maybe he'll come into the video a little bit later on. It's been raining here, so he's loving being inside and being uh, nice and warm and dry. So uh, it's about six minutes after, so I think we're going to get started. Uh, you want to be in uh, a comfortable position. And if you are sitting, it's nice to have your back nice and straight, as comfortably straight as it can be, just to allow the energy that you will be receiving from the crystal balls. And uh, from Stan, if this is your first time joining, Stan is a dear friend who is in Naples, Florida. And he's an amazingly gifted healer, albeit humble. And he joins us and sends out his healing energy from Naples. So you're receiving that energy as well. Whether you are listening to this live or you are listening to it later on on Facebook or on YouTube, you will still be receiving that energy. Okay, and please uh, like and share the video on YouTube if it's something that you feel called to do so other people can uh, see it. If you find it'll be helpful, share it with them. If you feel they could use, use this and it would be a benefit, um, I would appreciate it and I'm sure they would appreciate it as well. Okay, there's lots of them on there to choose from. They're all about the same length, um, but you can choose the one that calls, calls to you. So again, uh, sorry, digress a little bit. So if you're sitting up, sit up uh, as nice and tall as comfortably as you can to allow the energy to come into the crown of your head and move up and down the spine freely, charging all of your energy chakras and moving into your meridians. If you are lying down, that's great too. Get comfortable, cover up with a blanket, or maybe you're sitting outside or having dinner um, it doesn't matter just as long as you're uh, relaxed and try to um, minimize outside distractions. Um, if they do happen, if they do come in, just acknowledge them and then, then let it go. Just know that it's all part of the experience and it was meant to happen. So um, you can silence your cell phone from notifications. If you'd like to right now, that will help. But just allow yourself this time, okay, to heal and to relax. So we're going to take three deep breaths in, and if you can, we're going to breathe in through the nose. We're going to fill up the lungs as much as possible so the belly will come out to allow the expansion of the lungs. And then when you breathe out, you breathe out through the mouth, pushing the belly in to force the air out. Not force, but allow the air to, to come out to compress the air out. Okay, so we'll do that three times together. Okay, so we're going to breathe in through the nose. And now through the mouth. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, nice big one in through the nose, and out through the mouth. You can either continue the deep breathing or you can return to your normal breath. 
This is from the Prayers to the Seven Sacred Flames by Aurelia Louise Jones. It's from Mount Shasta Light Publishing. Invocation for Perfect Health. In the name of my beloved presence I am, I give praises, thanksgiving, and glory to the source of my being for my perfect health always. I am radiating health, increasing health. God consumes my fears and imbalances into love and vibrant perfection. This day I am a focus of light energy flowing through me like a mighty river, a living fountain of eternal youth and beauty. I am a manifestation of perfect health. All negativity in me is now consumed by the pure light energy which I am. I am, I am, I am manifesting optimum health. I live, I live in the consciousness of immortality, youth, and divine beauty. I am perfect health in its full perfection. I am pure light and healing energy flooding every cell, atom, and electron of my body, blessing me, strengthening me, and making me a shining example of God's love.
I'm ready. We can start to make some subtle movements. We do a little stretching, some deep breaths in and out. Some slight adjustments, maybe of your head and neck and shoulders. You can open your eyes when you're ready if you have them closed. Pat yourself on the back for allowing yourself this time. You know if you heard birds in the background, but towards the end they were really singing beautifully right outside the window. So I hope the microphone picks that up. Okay, and this is our card from the Archangel Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. This is from Archangel Michael. It's Crystal Clear Intentions. Be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering, unwavering faith. Be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering, unwavering faith. And make sure you're focusing on what you desire and not what you don't desire. Because if you're worrying about something or hoping that something doesn't happen, you basically praying for what you don't want. Um, so this way, when you're focusing on good health, don't say, I don't want to be sick, I don't want to be in pain, I don't want to be in stress. Don't use those words, be positive, uh, like the prayer at the beginning, and focus on, I am healthy, I am complete in my body, I am free to live a healthy life, I am, I am healthy, that is the best thing that you could do, or I am abundant, or I am in wonderful relationships with everybody. Whatever you want, focus on that. And then even if it's not even happening right now, or whatever it is, even if you don't think that you it could happen, this is where the unwavering faith comes in. Because once you start to believe it, like... Uh, Sonia Choquette would say, uh, fake it until you make it. So keep believing, keep believing in it and having that faith. And that's what attracts it to you, or the circumstances to you that will make it happen. So just keep, keep the faith of whatever it is that you're asking for and ask Archangel Michael for help with that faith. He's a very good protector. Um, and he will give you that force field of protection. We've used that prayer before. So this is the Oracle of the Fairies uh, deck by Karen Fay. And she's coming out with a mermaid's deck she just posted, which I don't know too much about mermaids, or, but it just it seemed very intriguing to me. So that might be the next deck. We'll see a lot of feminine energy coming in, which is... Um, happening, and we all have feminine energy, whether we're male or female, we all have male energy, it's all the duality. So from the fairies, oh, healing, this is what we're asking for tonight, for healing. Now is the time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others, yes, even you. <laughs> and this is true, this is beautiful, it goes along great with what we were saying tonight, so it is a time for healing. Make those intentions crystal clear. And as it says, everybody has the ability for healing. Uh, it's not just uh, for anybody who is special or um, has been attuned to Reiki or Qigong masters or anything like that. Everybody has the ability to heal because we are all connected in universal source and that is healing. And you can give that to anybody, I was contacted this morning by a very dear friend of mine, and she was asking for prayers from somebody who was not in a good place mentally. Um, and so giving that healing energy, that person is receiving it. And if enough people do it, 
um, that just becomes that much more stronger. So you are much stronger than, than you believe or that you've been told. Um, so set those intentions pure and put your heart into it, put your feelings into it, and you can heal yourself and you can help to heal others as well. Ultimately, the healing is up to that person. Uh, you can't force healing on somebody. But if they are willing to accept, you absolutely can take part in that. So I think tonight is all about healing, um, healing ourselves and helping to heal others. So both very beautiful cards. I'll post them in the link. Um, love these. So thank you, everybody. Have a fantastic weekend. I know we are going to with all the celebrations that we have planned um, with my beautiful children. So enjoy your weekend. Uh, enjoy the weather wherever you are. Um, enjoy your time with yourself or with others, whatever it is. Just enjoy. Okay. And I will see you back here on Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.